Hi, I thought I would do a little review and guide to the best way Aquaglide Flow Clear Pool Cleaning Robot. So, he's been charging for the last few days. I haven't really had a chance to test him yet because we haven't had the weather. It's been pretty awful here, just raining non stop. Um, but I'm going to give you a little guide to him before we test him out later on in the pool. Right, so starting from the top, this little rubber grommet is your charging port and yes I bought him from amazon.co.uk so he comes with a British plug um, the next thing you need to look at on the top here is this this is a the flotation devices which you need to adjust to your pool's height uh, my pool is 1.22 meters so four foot and I've adjusted it roughly already I'm I'm going to readjust it when I get up to the pool. But yeah, this will float on the top. So basically, he can go around and you can still see where he is. And if he gets stuck in the middle, this bit makes him more retrievable. So you've got a way of hooking him out. And yes, he comes with a little hook. And you've got to put that on a good pole. I've used um, a best way pole from one of my nets. And that's basically it for that part. Now this piece here is a flipper. Basically when he hits a wall, this flipper should come into play and allows him to turn and move in the opposite direction. Now it does come with a spare flipper, I don't know why, which is in a darker grey colour. I don't understand why either. Um, but then this sometimes apparently can get stuck, well it can become stuck on it than another model which is like this which is in a dark grey colour so what a guy did was he stuck a bobber from the fisherman's bobber on the end of this with some sellotape and it just allowed this to move that way backwards and forwards so I might invest in a bobber just in case I do run into this issue I'm hoping I don't because I picked this model instead but yeah anyway so um, I've already got him unclipped because my hands are no good. Let's hope I can get him open. There we go. And here we have a Star Wars spaceship. No, only joking. Um, this is the the filter part. Obviously, this stops all the stuff getting back into the main part body of the robot. This um, these flaps will stop big bits drop dropping back out. And hopefully, I won't get the problem that some people have when they say when they lift this out of the pool, sometimes bits come out from the back. Well, I'm hoping that I'm going to lift it straight up and that I don't get this issue, but we'll have to wait and see. The most important thing I need to show you is this peg. Now, at the moment, it's what we call factory setting, and that means it's in the right position for an above ground pool of under 2 meters, which mine is. If you had a pool that was uh, deeper than 2 meters, you need to move the peg from here to here. And basically then that allows it to go into a deeper pool. But it does show that you shouldn't use it on pools with a graduated slope. So in other words, pools that get gradually deeper. So maybe an even based ground pool, 2 meters to maybe 3 or 4 meters would be the maximum. It should be in the instructions. but as I said, this is a pool robot for above ground pools mostly, so they're going to design it to be more useful for that. It doesn't climb walls or anything, it's literally just the bottom and it should keep your pool bottom nice and clear. And that's really about it. The top does clip down nice and tight, but I'm not going to be able to do that on camera because my hands are no good with heavy objects and holding a, a camera and everything else. It seems a bit squeaky. But yeah, there you go. It takes a four or five hour charge and that gives you about uh, 40 minutes worth of power pool cleaning. So I'm hoping that if I do go in this afternoon, I might drop it in the pool for 40 minutes and get to clean all the bottom and I'll clean the top and hopefully have a nice clean pool. Um, I've been mostly using, as I say, nets and a vacuum, but with my bad hands and sometimes my back I can't always do that so I'm hoping this little gadget will help me in the long run keep my pool nice and clear so 
see for part two and i will put a link in the description on social media sites that i upload this to and hopefully if it's any good then it'll help somebody else see you later so i'm outside now to review this actual working in my pool just took my cover off the pool bottom's not too dirty, but I'm gonna let it have a good run around anyway. Now there's an automatic feature here. You just put that on, and as soon as it hits the pool, it'll turn on. So I'm gonna just pop it in the pool now. So I've just dumped them in. I've took my ladders out, and he is going. I might need to just adjust the uh, floater there. But you can see, he sort of gets to an edge and turns himself around. Isn't it cute? And we'll have a review later on when I get in the pool myself uh, to see how much he's actually picked up. There's probably not going to be a lot because the pool's really clear. But he's turning. He's cutting a pathway up the wall. I've got a lot of little seeds in my pool which uh, I'm going to let out in a minute again. Just done a few bits off. He's going for it. He's cute. He's a little bit noisy, you can hear him. But that's pretty good. He's pretty fast. Anyway, we'll do a review later, see what he picked up. Hi, so here are the photographs showing the pool hoover after he's been in the pool. As you can see, he's managed to pick up quite a little bit. But again, my pool wasn't really that dirty. This is going to be much more useful after a winter's period where you reopen the pool in the summer and need to clean the bottom of the pool. All in all I find him okay, he didn't get stuck and he's cleaned up great.